happy new year beautiful people so i firmly believe in the saying that the grass is greener where it is watered so in 2023 i shall water and take care of my garden both physically and figuratively i've already started to make changes in 2022 so that it will be easy for me to adjust in 2023 and some of those changes include making fresh juices for my kids i no longer want to be buying processed drinks and junk food i want to make sure that 90 percent of the time at least they are taking fresh healthy meals and drinks so these are the books i use to plan for the new year this is my notebook my notepad i make all kinds of notes and jottings in here random anything that comes to my head i write it down here and this is my bible i love it so much it's the joyce Meyer study bible and then this is my journal my planner and i love it so much you guys this planner has everything it's a big planner anyway but it has a lot of things that i need it has monthly planner weekly planners daily planners if you want it has a part for making notes it has a part for tracking your habits it also has a part for you know tracking your fitness if you're trying to hit some fitness goals in the new year you can also use it for budgeting it has a part for your monthly budget your fixed expenses your expenses your purchases um, your income you can track it all here you can also write your grocery list there's a part for it i love it and i'm definitely going to be using it a lot So yeah, I made a digital vision board so that I can put it on what I look at the most, which is my laptop and my phone screen. So this vision board is going to be my wallpaper on my laptop and my phone. So I basically use the Canva app to design it, but you can use any other design app you are conversant with. First, I downloaded pictures of what I want to see in my life, inspirational pictures, quotes, and Bible verses. I also wrote down all the points that I needed to capture in my vision board. I had already done some thinking and some writing, so I'm just going to put all those on my vision board. Next, I opened a Canva project. I chose 1920 by 1018. Then I proceeded to add pictures and write-ups. I already knew the name of the type of font I wanted to use, so I just typed it in. I also tried to make everything as aesthetically pleasing as I can. Remember that these are random pictures and you're basically forming a collage with these pictures. So the way I could create cohesion was with font type and colors and you know the white background. So I tried to be consistent and I used the same type of font. I also had a color scheme in mind which is the white plain background the blush pink a little bit of accent colors here and there but when you look at the vision board all the colors kind of work together you can make yours more or less aesthetics the choice is yours but i didn't want to sacrifice the message in the process so just play around as much as possible i'm already conversant with canva i love designing so doing all this was quite easy to me um, i work with canva all the time but if you're not used to working with any of these design apps just do as much as you can again like i said as much as we try to make it look good the real purpose of a vision board is to make our vision clear to put it in such a way that we can be constantly reminded of things that are important to us okay so because of how busy the vision board is and the fact that i'm going to be using it as a wallpaper i decided to add this blank sheet i just went to elements and i searched for notes and this you know page looks okay to me it looks like a turned page of a journal or a diary so i just added it tried to make it look good so that is where i am going to be putting 
all my icons you know so my folders that i'm working on or when i plug in a device to my system i'm going to move the icon there so that it will be more visible because around the perimeter of the wallpaper where these icons usually show most of this wallpaper now is going to be very obscure so this little page here was just an idea i got to try and make it as visually pleasing as possible and i also tagged it work at hand so that i'll remember that these are the things i am working on at this time and that's it i'm satisfied with how it looks for now i can always change it in the future if something changes if i no longer like it it's very easy to change after you're done with the project just download this then go to your system preferences and set it as a wallpaper but this is how i always make videos this is how i've been making videos for the last five years pick a topic that I think might be helpful to someone, write a few bullet points and then I just kind of speak from the heart. And I was, I've been doing that for like five years and then I tried being too businessy about it, too operationalized, too much of like, well, let's think about titles and thumbnails before doing everything else. Then also, while making my vision board, I was listening to Ali Abdal, a YouTuber I love so much. I've talked about him in the past. I was watching his video on failure and I found it so inspiring that it got me really reflecting on some aspects of my life. I truly appreciate his honesty. Honesty is something I really hold dear. Even on my channel, I always strive to be as honest as possible. No fluff, no BS, just real stuff. So I'm very optimistic about the new year and my positivity and you know, optimism, if there's anything like that, is coming from the fact that I know that I am going to, you know, put in effort this year and I'm ready to put in effort. I am mentally ready to do what it takes to, you know, get me from where I am to the next level, both health-wise and, you know, business-wise and every other aspect of my life, okay? I want to just quickly talk to you guys about the different aspects of my life that I have been planning for i basically broke everything down into nine aspects well i didn't do the breaking down okay i got it from um you know one youtuber so <laughs> i actually actively went to search for you know different areas of your life that you need to plan for before now whenever i used to plan i used to plan with you know spiritually mentally economically um financially well that's economically uh, emotionally and physically that's what I used to plan with, spiritually, I don't know if I mentioned spiritually, Anything. anyway, um, but this time I wanted to be more detailed, so I watched a couple of videos and I was able to, you know, break it down into the different aspects, and there are basically nine aspects, so my notes is here, yeah, this is my, you know, jotting notes, like, I just jot down things randomly, things here are not really coherent or, you know, organized or the way I normally, this is like where I just pour all the junk in my head out, um, I have a note on my phone that does the same thing as well i try hard not to leave things in my head because when i leave them in my head i always think that oh i'll remember it but i don't remember them okay or it takes me a longer time to try and recall them so anything that comes to my head anything i feel is important or i want to remember i just pour it out so if i'm with my notepad at that time i write it down if i'm with my phone which is most of the time i put it in my phone okay yeah so the nine aspects that i have been planning and preparing for are spiritual personal development basically your mind health um, romantic life or you know romance um, family life okay so my kids my family life basically um, number six is my business and my career number seven is my financial goals number eight is you know fun and recreation and number nine is social life so friendships you know just basically connecting with other people aside my family members who don't have a choice okay <laughs> um, yeah so if I can remember the name of the YouTuber, it's not even a, I don't think he's a YouTuber anymore, but it's like a, a consultant or so. I was watching his channel. I'm going to put a link to the video that I watched here because he broke it down more. But let me just tell you guys some things that I wrote down here for me to, you know, pay attention to, okay? So in this book, I basically made rough notes about, you know, things I need to take note of. And on my vision board, I just, you know, made it aesthetically pleasing and wrote some more things there. But where I am going to be breaking down everything is in this journal okay so in this journal i'm going to be breaking down every single thing that i need to do like actual steps like i will do this i need to do that okay because the truth is that without planning 
it's very difficult to follow through some things. Like I want to visually see everything <laughs> written down. That you know, I, I like writing basically. So, but I want to really write everything down. Even the Bible says, you know, write your vision down, make it plain. Because if you don't write it down, if you don't make it plain, if you don't make it clear, it's very difficult. It's very difficult for you to follow it one, and then it's very easy for you to lose sight of what exactly your vision is. And I think that happened to me last year. So this year, I'm trying really hard to you know stay focused okay <laughs> yeah so in looking at the previous year and planning for the new year these are some things that are important for you to take note of to help you plan and the first question is what did i do right or do well this year that is in 2022 what did i do right and what did i do well i think i mentioned some things that i feel like i did right and i'm going to keep improving on then the next one is what did i do wrong or poorly this year i know a lot of things like that and i'm also going to you know write them down and change what do i want to see changed i'm also going to write those ones down and then what must i do to make those changes it's not just flipping like when i watched the guy's video the person i got these things from he said it's not just flipping oh what i need to see change and you now say i need to change this no it is like actual steps actual things that you know you feel like you need to do to make those changes then do them okay um so i also have the books that i need to read this year so yeah that's it basically that's how i have planned and i'm preparing for the new year um god help me prayer is going to be one of those things that i'm going to incorporate more i also want to join a service group in church i've always been in service groups in church before i had kids but when i started having kids i mean it took a back seat because i'm not here to come and start uh, running around with my child and you know trying to at a service i don't know i just did not want to you know combine those two uh, for me it's also a service to raise my kids okay <laughs> but not that my kids don't need me as much i want to go back to you know serving in church in one way or the other i might just do something low-key like maybe cleaning or yeah i can do cleaning arranging just physical work nothing serious nothing you know fantastic like that just cleaning church arranging church organizing things behind the scenes so that i can do that and still attend church normally okay i don't want to work during church service i can work before or after so i'll look for a service department like that and join but yeah that's it guys that is my plan for this year and god willing god will help me what are your plans for this year are there any things that i have said that resonate with you are there have you learned something from this video let me know if you learned something from this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video and yeah once again happy new year Woo! <laughs>